Hello, Mimi here. Today we are starting with class 3, chapter 1 of your science textbook. The name of the chapter is Living and Non-Living Things. There are so many things around us. There are flowers, birds, people, buildings, roads, rivers, buses, and schools. These things can be grouped into natural things and man-made things. Nature has given us many things such as the sun, the moon, the stars, the plants, and the animals. These things are called natural things. Things such as buildings, roads, cars, trains, schools, and aeroplanes have been made by humans and do not occur naturally. These things are called man-made things. Now in the stepping stone, look at the picture given below. Write L for a living being and NL for a non-living thing. So the animal is living being. This is non-living, non-living, and the butterfly is also a living being. The things that have life in them are called living beings. The things that do not have life in them are called non-living things. Plants, animals, and humans are living beings. The sun, moon, stars, buildings, and cars are non-living things. Differences between living and non-living. Living beings are different from non-living things in many ways. Let us learn how. The first difference is living beings move. Most of the living beings such as animals, birds, fish, and human beings can move from one place to another on their own. Animals move in search of food and water. They move to look for shelter. They also move to protect themselves from their enemies. For example, a deer runs to protect itself from a tiger. Animals such as leopards and buffaloes move with the help of their legs. Birds and insects fly with the help of their wings. Fishes swim with the help of their fins and tails. Snakes crawl from one place to another. Plants do not move from one place to another because most of them can lay their food themselves. However, different parts of a plant can show movement. The leaves of the touch me not plant, Maimosa, close and droop when touched. They reopen in few minutes when the hand is withdrawn. Non living things such as pencils and bricks cannot move on their own. They move only when someone moves them. This is also the picture of touch me not plant or Maimosa. The second difference is that living beings grow. Living beings such as animals and plants grow with time. When living beings grow, their shape and size change. A human baby grows into an adult human being. A baby plant grows into a tree. Living beings are born, they grow and die. This is called their lifespan. Non-living things stay the same and do not grow with time. For example, a table or a plain phone will always stay the same. Let us understand through an activity that living beings grow while non-living beings do not. In this picture also, you can just see that a human body grows into an adult human being and a baby plant grows into a tree. The third difference is that living beings breathe. Our body continuously needs to take in fresh air and give out used air. The process by which our body takes in and gives out air is called 
breathing. All living beings breathe in and breathe out air to stay alive. Human beings and most animals breathe through their nose and lungs. Insects such as grasshoppers have air holes along the sides of their bodies for breathing. Fishes breathe through gills. Plants breathe through tiny pores in the leaves called stomata. In this picture above, you can see that it is shown the stomata of a plant, the air holes of the grasshopper, and the gills in the fish. Non-living things such as toys, tables, and bicycles do not breathe. The four differences, living beings need food and water. Living beings need food and water to live and grow. Food also protects us from many diseases. We obtain food from plants and animals. Plants also need food. The leaves of the plant make food using water, air, and sunlight. So remember, the leaves of green plants contain a green substance called chlorophyll. It helps them to make food. In the picture, you can see that a girl eating an apple, a zebra eating grass, and a tiger eating a prey. Non-living things do not need food. Does your toy robot or car eat food? No. Now, run through. Living beings can eat, move, grow, and breathe. Living beings can are born, grow, and die after a certain period of time. Breathing is the process by which our body takes in and gives out air. Stomata are the tiny pores through which plants breathe. Now, track your progress. Number one, give one example of a living beings, for example, humans, and give one example of a non-living beings, for example, water bottle. The fifth difference is living beings feel. Living beings can feel the changes that take place in their surroundings. When we get hurt, we feel pain. We can also smell food being cooked in the kitchen. We taste with our tongue. We can feel the change in temperature when the weather changes. Eyes, ears, nose, tongues, and skin are known as sense organs. They enable us to feel the changes around them. Animals also feel changes around them through their sense organs. Plants do not have sense organs. However, they can also feel the changes around them. A plant kept in the shade will grow towards sunlight. Roots grow downwards inside the soil. Plants can also sense the change in weather. Some trees shed their leaves in autumn. Most of the flowers appear in the spring. Different kinds of fruits are produced in different seasons. You can see in the picture that a tree shedding its leaves in autumn and this human or this boy is also feeling cold. Non-living things do not feel the changes in their surroundings. If you drop your pencil, it will not get hurt. Let us perform an activity to observe that plants are responsive towards the changes around them. You can go along with this activity and the result is here. And number six, the six different is living beings reproduce. Dogs give birth to puppies, cows give birth to calves. Human beings have babies too. Birds such as hens and pigeons lay eggs. Also some animals such as crocodiles, fishes, lizards and turtles lay eggs. Their young ones hatch from eggs. So. Living beings produce young ones like themselves. This is known as reproduction. Plants also reproduce. Most plants produce seeds. These seeds grow into a new plant. Here in the picture, you can see that a hen with its eggs and a woman with her baby. Non-living things do not reproduce. Can your pencil box produce a baby pencil box? No. 
Now the wonder box is talking about a virus is an organism that is neither living or non-living. It has some features of living beings and some of non-living things. Let us now recall the differences between living and non-living things. So in this chart, you can see the six differences. And here, air holes, what are they? Tiny holes along the sides of the bodies of insects that help them to breathe. What is a stomata? Pores in the leaves of plants through which they take in and give out air. Sense organs, organs such as eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin that enable us to sense the changes around us. Reproduction, the process of producing more young ones of one's own kind. Now, in this assessment zone, mm, you can see that in these two boxes, they have written some examples and you should just put in the right columns for living and non-living things. So, here is the answer of it. You can just label living things and non-living things. And in the living things, write number one, a plant sprouting flowers. Number two, a monkey hiding itself in a tree during rains. Number three, a cow having calves. Number four, a tiger growling. Number five, an elephant chewing leaves. And in non-living things chart, you can write number one, brick ball growing in size. Number two, a plate breaking and forming two pieces, number three, a train moving fast, and number four, a football bouncing, number five, the paint on a wall peeling off due to rain, fill in blanks. Number one, stars, buildings, and cars are the examples of non-living things. Number two, most plants produce seeds. Number three, stomata are the tiny pores through which plants breathe. Number four, non-living things do not reproduce. Number five, plants can make their own food using air, water, and sunlight. State true or false. Number one, plants do not grow and die. False. Plants do not have sense organs. True. Number three, fishes breathe through, their, through air holes along the sides of their bodies. False. Non-living things do not grow. True. And the last one is, all living beings can move from one place to another through. Unscramble the words and write them in the correct places. So, in the living beings, you should write snake, maimusa, tree, and non-living things are car, star, and trains. Answer the following questions. I will just carry on in the notebook for you. And just the tenth one, we will go along this. You should look this chart and just fill this. So in the plants, you can write, make their own food and they have roots. For animals, move freely from place to place. And for both, you can write that both plants and animals grow, plants and animals also reproduce. Now, in this part, it is that, which of the following shows the features of living things? Number A, a fire spreading through a jungle. No, a balloon increasing in size when inflated no a dog barking at a stranger living things and a flower bud opening up in the morning this is also living things so the answer will be d now let's move on to the question analysis okay so number one was differences between living and non-living Living things, you can write the six differences, but here I just mentioned the three of them. Living, they can move from one place to another on their own, they grow and die, they breathe. And in this one, they cannot move from one place to another on their own, they do not grow and die, and they do not breathe. Number two, what are natural and man-made? Natural, man-made. Things that nature has given to us are natural things and the examples are the sun, moon, water, etc. And man-made things that are made by man are called man-made things. The examples can be book, chair, car and etc. 
Number three. Why do living beings need food? Answer is living beings need food to live and grow. Number four. Why do animals move from one place to another? The answer is animals move from one place to another in search of food and shelter. Number five. How do plants breathe? The answer is plants breathe through tiny pores in the leaves called stomata. Number six. Define reproduction. The answer is the process of producing more young ones of one own kind is called reproduction. Number seven. What is lifespan? The answer is living beings are born, they grow and die. This is called lifespan. Number eight. How are plants and animals different? The answer is plants cannot move from one place to another like animals. Plants prepare their own food with the help of some light and water, whereas animals depend on other plants and animals for their food. And number nine is, how can we say that plants sense change in the weather? Answer is, we can see different changes in plants as weather changes. For example, some trees shed their leaves in autumn, some flowers appear in spring and some fruits are produced in different seasons. Now here we will go along with the home book. Okay, the first worksheet it is fill in the blanks. Number one, the sun animals and plants are the examples of natural things. Number two, birds and insects fly with the help of their wings. Number three, plants can make their food themselves. Number four, fishes breathe through their gills. Number five, living things need food and water to live and grow. Answer the following questions. Name two natural things, sun and moon. Name two man-made things, table and bed. And what is lifespan? Living beings born, grow and die. This is lifespan. Why do animals move from one place to another? Animals move from one place to another in search of food, water, and shelter. Circle the odd one out. Number one is airplane. Number two, the answer is car. And number three, the answer is duck. The second worksheet is all about true and false. Number one, animals cannot feel a change around them. False. Plants can sense a change in weather. True. Plants produce seeds that grow into new plants. True. Some animals such as fish and crocodile cannot reproduce. False. Different kinds of fruits are produced in different seasons. True. This match the following. Also you can see this. And here. Choose the correct answer. Number 1. Grasshopper breathe through air holes present in their bodies. Number two, plants breathe through tiny holes which are present in their leaves. Number three, which of the following cannot move at all? Building. Number four, a chick grows into a hen. And number five, most of the flowers appear in the spring season. Give one word for the following. Number one, the process by which our body takes in and gets out air is breathing. Plants breathe through their tiny pores stomata and it is the touch me not plant it is mimosa and that was all for chapter one of the science so if you enjoyed my video do like comment and subscribe and thank you so much for watching